So now friends, let us see about the efficiency of an auto cycle. As we all know, efficiency is denoted by eta and that is equal to the net work done by the heat supplied. Here in the auto cycle we have seen that heat supplied that is Q1 is equal to M into Cv into T3 minus T2 and heat rejected that is Q2 is M into Cv into T4 minus T1. Therefore, from the equation of efficiency, we can say that eta will be equal to the heat rejected by that is subtracted from heat supplied divided by heat supplied that is Q1 minus Q2 by Q1 that is equal to 1 minus Q2 by Q1. If we put these equations in place of Q1 and Q2 we get eta is equal to 1 minus m c v t4 minus t1 by m c v t3 minus t2 here m c v gets cancelled out and the final equation comes out to be 1 minus t4 minus t1 by t3 minus t2 that is the expression for efficiency let us consider this equation as equation number 1 to proceed further in this process. Now let us proceed further taking this equation into consideration. As we have seen in the graph that the process 1 to 2 is an adiabatic process. So as we all know the equations, the relations from temperature and volume we can write T2 into V2 to the power gamma minus 1 is equal to T1 into V1 to the power gamma minus 1 which implies that T2 by T1 is equal to V1 by V2 whole to the power gamma minus 1 similarly From the process 3 to 4, this is also an adiabatic process. We can see the equation T3 by T4 is equal to V4 by V3 whole to the power gamma minus 1. Since the process 4 to 1 and 2 to 3 are isochoric process, the volume 4 V4 and the volume 3 V3 we can write as V1 by V2 whole to the power gamma minus 1. This can be seen from the PV curves. Therefore, we can write T2 by T1 is equal to T3 by T4 which implies that by dividing and changing the form, we get T3 by T2 is equal to T4 by T1. Let us consider this equation to be equation number 2 to proceed further. So, subtracting 1 from both the sides, we get T3 minus T2 minus 1 is equal to T4 by T1 minus 1 which implies that if we calculate it we get T3 minus T2 
t2 by t2 that is equal to t4 minus t1 by t1 which implies that t1 by t2 is equal to t4 minus t1 by t3 minus t2 so we can see this we can write as v2 by v1 whole to the power gamma minus 1 as this is an adiabatic process therefore by putting these values in equation 1 we get the final value of efficiency as eta is equal to 1 minus v2 by v1 whole to the power gamma minus 1 this is the equation for efficiency now for the processing this equation with newer terms we can write it as 1 minus 1 by rk to the power gamma minus 1 so here rk that is equal to v1 by v2 is known as the compression ratio that is equal to volume of the cylinder at the beginning divided by volume at the end of compression this term is an important term known as compression ratio so this is how we can get the final equation of the efficiency for auto cycle